Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying life and enjoying school. And we want to let you know that we miss you so much, but we are glad to be here in the sanctuary doing the children's chat. And I've brought some friends with me today, Allison and Ashley. You may have seen them before uh, on our children's chat. They did such a great job. I thought I would invite them back again. And by the way, if you're interested in participating in the children's chat to be on YouTube with us, just let me know. I'd love to have you come and visit and be a part of this process. So today I thought I would bring some of my plants from home. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love to work in the garden. Did you know that? You did it? Yeah, so I like to grow things, and my favorite thing to grow um, are orchids. And so I brought one here today, and I wanted to show it to you. This I just replanted. Oop, see, and the bark is already falling out. And it has uh, bark inside of it instead of what? What would normally go inside of a Soil or right. dirt. Right, soil or dirt. And I put two of them in here, and these are the roots. Can you see the roots coming out? There. Yeah, so what normally comes out of an orchid? Do you know what grows out of it uh, that makes it pretty? Flowers. A flower. Does this one have a flower on it? No. No. Do you know that sometimes when people get orchids as gifts, when the flower dies, they throw it away because they think the whole plant is dead? So this is what an orchid looks like with a flower. See how pretty the flower is? It looks like little angels. Yeah, and this is a specific type of orchid. There's all different types, right? Just like there's different types of dogs. So anyway, sometimes when the flower dies, people throw them away because they don't realize that they're still alive. That's kind of unfortunate, right? Yeah. Uh, so there's an orchid. And, oh, I brought this one. This one is called a bromeliad. And it also gets like, uh, almost like a flower. Some of them have flowers and some of them just have leaves that turn different colors. And it doesn't have roots the same way a regular plant does. It kind of lives on the surface of the ground. And then once it has its flower, this one will die, but it makes other ones that come off, like offshoots. And that's how it'll keep on growing and thriving. So when you water this kind of plant, you don't pour the water in the roots pour it inside of the leaves like this. Kind of like a pond. Yeah, and it stays in there and that's how it gets its water and its nutrients. Like a cup. Like a cup. And now I brought another one that's similar to that. This is a, do you guys know what this is? Air plant. This is an air plant. So these typically grow on trees, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing, the water kind of collects on the inside. And that's how it gets, and it gets its uh, water, you know, just kind of from the air. So if I were having this at home, I wouldn't pour water on it. I might use like a spray bottle to put some water on it. We actually have a couple. You have some of those? Yeah. And I brought some little baby ones because I thought they were awfully cute. Aren't they cute? And there's all different types of air plants too. Neat, right? They don't quite like getting touched. Right. So now this plant, is almost a tree. It's probably covering you up. <laughs> so this actually grows in what? Rocks. That has rocks on top, but what do you think's underneath? Dirt. So this is like a regular plant that you would find in the ground, right? It has dirt in there. And if you water it, you would pour it in directly like that, right? Different than we did with the other ones. So um, sometimes people think that they are really great gardeners and they can make mistakes, right? And sometimes people are silly and wanna see what would happen if they fed the plant something other than water or plant food, right? So what do you think would happen if you fed the plant Coke or Diet Coke? It might turn a different color or it might die. That's right, it could turn a different color perhaps Certainly like uh, fade to yellow, then to brown, and then to not being alive anymore, right? I did one with coffee and it, it surprisingly well. It grew better than the one with water. Wow, that's crazy. But did you start off thinking that that was gonna happen? Kind of. Kind of? Oh, okay. What if I poured salt in the water before I watered the plants? What do you think would happen? It might actually kill it, unless it was a plant that was supposed to live by the salt water, right? 
that's a little different. Yeah, so sometimes people make mistakes, just honest mistakes. Sometimes they make mistakes on purpose. A mistake on purpose is a sin. We know that, right? And sometimes people are just overconfident in their gardening skills or in any skills that they have. And being overconfident could lead to trouble, don't you think? Yeah. Have you ever been in trouble because you've been overconfident? Yeah? Yeah. Like, is there something you thought you could do by yourself but you couldn't really do by yourself? Move a really heavy box and end up dropping it and some things broke. Ooh, and some things broke, yeah. You know, that happened to me last week. When I was trying to lift a really heavy pumpkin, did you guys see me on the children's chat doing that? Yeah. And do you know what happened to me? I got stuck with a giant 130 pound pumpkin in my lap because I thought I could do it all by myself, right? That's right. So, do you think it's good to have confidence in yourself? Yes. yes. It is good. It's good to have confidence in your abilities, but sometimes you need help. And you know what? I think there's a better way, a better person to have confidence in. Do you know who that would be? God or Jesus, right? That's right. So instead of being like self-confident, thinking that we could do everything all on our own, what if we were Christ confident and we knew that Christ was with us all the time? How do you think that would feel? Better. Better. That would feel pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. Well, in today's Bible lesson, it actually comes from Philippians. Here's our Bible. Remember, I show you the Bible where the lesson comes from. And in it, this is what it says. Actually, it's Paul and Timothy, and they're in prison. They're in prison for believing in God and in Jesus. And they're writing to other people, trying to encourage them while they're in prison. And this is what it says. It says, and I am certain that God who began the work within you will continue his work until it's finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. He is confident that God is with us. Are you confident that God's with us? Yeah, so do you think we should put confidence in God? Probably. And if God is the one that made us and created us, uh, don't you think he'd stay with us until we finished growing and changing and doing all the wonderful things? I want you to hold this real quickly, and I would like you to hold this little plant right here. And I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to be totally honest. Would you feel better if you were this little plant and you were in your sister's hands? How about you? God's hands. God's hands, yeah. Because, you know, she feeds coffee to plants. <laughs> yep. And she may say it thrive, but I'm not sure in the long haul it really would have. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's not so That's good. Sometimes things work out, right? But let me tell you this. If you're in God's hands, things might still go wrong, right, in your life because we're human and we make mistakes and, and all of those things. But we know that God is there walking with us, helping us to grow, to be the person that he would like for us to be. And that if we have confidence in, in Jesus, that we'll never, ever be alone. And you know, last week when I was sitting on that floor with the pumpkin in my lap, God sent somebody to help me. Do you know who he said? Pastor Corey. Pastor Corey, that's right. Pastor Corey came and saved the day. And I am confident it's because Jesus was looking out for me and did not want me to be stuck there forever and ever. Amen. Will you guys pray with me? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Pray. Dear God, I want to thank you so much for being here with us always. And help us to remember that you are always going to be with us. Help us to be confident like Paul and Timothy were, that you will be with us until the final days when Jesus returns. Please keep, continue to keep everyone safe and healthy and know that we love you. Amen. 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 Thank you, girls. Will you come back again? Yes. Uh, maybe. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you next week.